starts to make sense It all starts to make sense uh, uh, With all these omens We've been calling it in uh, It all starts to make sense all my thoughts, and particularly my prayers, have not forgotten the indigenous for the Western man's been working so hard against us. With these Western medicine and the same management and fancies are or the way he protects and the way he preserves and the bubble, but he neglects the people that came first, you know, the same ones that he massacred. Uh -huh. No starts to make sense where we're going where we're at and where we've been uh, 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 it all starts to make sense well creator the behavior of the collective youth definitely seems to be in favor of the western man's invasion I see him pumping fear like an ivy, spreading like a disease, and all the while building a crudest army. A God fearing youth with the knowledge of the truth, and their selfishness is so ugly. And it all starts to make sense. Who we gotta talk to if we wanna survive this mess? Talk to your children, please. It all starts to make sense. All right. Itty bitty economies based on geography fueled by spectators and their money and their need for things that will not last. So go on, build a hotel, a gift shop in the wilderness. Making a profit, capitalizing on it, and all the while trampling on everything that is sacred, and it all starts to make sense. Why the Western man destroys things he doesn't understand uh, It all starts to make sense All these patterns and wasteful destructive practices uh, uh. Living like a third world country inside this country Forgive a government that puts people in poverty and it bothers me When the people are going hungry and corporate companies that got the covers for the groceries It's disgusting now you can do nothing And complain about the situation in which you're living And it all starts to make sense They're vultures of culture and they're picking on all my friends uh -huh. It all starts to make sense All oh, indigenous empowerment uh -huh. Well I dedicate my life to the people who need the light Help them ride the brothers scam on the land And their lives in cotton like a knife All the lies by the stars Independent of this democracy is really worth it By my request to read in the board And try but to feed the bowl And bitches even moving towards solutions Out of fees but unbelievable All the slow moving people They could care less Just as long as you're comfortable It's unforgivable Because the conditions now are critical Whether or not you're ready We are now approaching the pinnacle It's difficult to say exactly Exactly what to do, but the change begins with me, and I reflect it back to you, and you, and you, and you. Come on, man, make the movie move. Make the movie move. Yeah, make the movie move. It all starts to make sense. Starts to make sense. Uh -huh. It all starts to make sense. Yeah. It all starts to make sense. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about. Um, your musical background yeah. how you started getting into music um. I started playing piano when I was like six years old mm -hmm. and uh, up until my early teens I was like I was teaching piano lessons and like 
Um, and then uh, like 16, 17 was you know, like doing music directing stuff for like high schools. Because I was homeschooled, so I didn't get out much. Mm -hmm. I'm so weird. <laughs> And uh, so I was in the house all the time, you know, playing piano and writing my own my, my own songs and stuff like that. But um, I, I, the, what got me out and got me more social was was doing. I hired myself out to like high schools in the area, and did their like theater production stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was always like the nerdy dude in the back playing the piano for all the vocal kids, you know. And so right. you know, I always had big dreams to get on stage and be in the theater, but I never got to do it because I was always playing the piano. But um, so. <clears throat> But I didn't really start writing good music in my mind. I didn't really start writing good music until I moved to Hawaii. And uh, that was like in 2006. And uh, I started just writing gu guitar songs, you know. I didn't. I, I taught myself guitar. And when did you start playing? At, like when I was 14, like my buddy down the street gave me one of those like F-hole, like, like huge jazz electric guitars, you know. Right. And I had like this little Marshall stack and it scared the <laughs> shit out of my mom, you know. She was like, oh my God, a guitar. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just started teaching myself chords, you know, and I, I thought I was amazing. It was not that good. So you start, you, you grew up in Oregon, right? Yeah, grew up in Oregon um, until about, I was about 17. And then uh, I got a job uh, music directing this theater production in central Alaska. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like, all right, I'm leaving peace. And stayed up in Alaska for two years. When did you, you start kind of looking outward and seeing, yeah. you know, Definitely your when I left. background and, and how it played into yeah. your life and, and your songs. Yeah, definitely when I left. I mean, Alaska was like a big change for me. Like, it got me into nature. Mm -hmm. It got me thinking about um, uh, about where I came from. Mm -hmm. um, it got me uh, introduced to, like, people from around the world because there were seasonal workers there. And so they were telling me their stories about where they come from. And, um, and then I was getting to, like, hear uh, world music and folk music and, and uh, just, like, a, just a... A huge just thunderstorm of stuff like happened to me in Alaska for those two years mm -hmm. um, and and really uh, brought me out of like uh, this sort of gray area that I, I knew exist in my in myself <clears throat> in regards to where I come from what I believe in um, the music that I would soon start creating mm -hmm. um, and just all those mysteries that I would start to uncover about um, about my my past and about um, what how it would make me to be in the future Right. So, so you were adopted, right? Yeah. Like, so right. when I was nine months old, I was adopted. And so I grew up this certain way that it was the only way I knew, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, because that's all I could remember, you know. Right. And it was beautiful, though. It was like, you know, I was it was the only thing I knew. So there was never any resistance, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely felt like once I got to my early teens, I was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely interesting. I'm the only brown guy in the family. And, right. You know what I mean? But, um, but uh, you know, and then I, when I went to Alaska and started sort of sort of like really wondering where my family was, you know, um, uh, the, the interest started to peak, you know, so um, by the time I'd moved to Hawaii, uh, I spent a year in Hawaii uh, just farming. I wanted to learn how to farm. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know where I was just like, oh, let's figure out how to learn how to farm. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I just had nothing else to do. I got fired from, from playing the piano at this, this dinner theater because I was too crazy. And... Uh, <laughs> Because I, yeah, this mountain life, like I just got, I was just given everything that the world wanted to give me at that time. Right. You know, coming from a conservative place, when you're in a, in a place where it's just like, here's everything, try it all. Oh, right. right. You know, I was just like, ah. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> exactly. So, uh, you know, and then um, Hawaii, and then that whole realm of Alaska really like brought me into this sort of like roots, like vagabond lifestyle, where like I could live off of nothing and just eat fruit. You know what I mean? Like I just I didn't have a job. I was like working on different farms. I just had my guitar and my backpack, you know. And I was just like hitchhiking around the island and um, and like working on coffee farms and uh, lettuce plantations. Like learning how to ranch, working with sheep and goats and horses, and just a completely different lifestyle than I'd ever lived before. You know. Mm -hmm. So I was just getting my butt whipped for sure. Like the island was was schooling me big time. Um, but I, uh, after a year, I'd saved up enough money to like come back to the states, to the mainland. And um, within that time period, like I literally the day I got back, I just decided to like Google my mom's name, and I found her on the internet. Wow, and your, then, your and birth my birth mom. mother, yeah. And then within that same day, I went to her house, um, wow. and and met her. Wow. Yeah, and that was like the unraveling of the of the new chapter of like songs of 
of identity crisis that had sort of like all come, accumulated, you know, just like where I came from, and all, you know, and, and then my, my mom, and there's like my brothers and sisters, and then like all this stuff, you know, I was just like, ah, I freaked out. Right. I, I had to leave. I just, after, I stayed for like a month, and then I peaced out. I know a father, I loved his daughter, I told him never would I forsake her, but I got home too late from one of my escapades, no woman to face, just a note that said, baby, I've sailed away, right out of my cave, cut a swirl, cut a wave to a Another inspiring place we all Oh no Coming out of our caves Coming out of our caves Yes we all Oh no oh, oh. Coming out of our caves Coming out of our caves accepts all that which I cannot accept such frustration that I wept for my friend the tax man he is my father and he tallies numbers all day yes he knows his numbers if you say he taxes income I asked him how come you know I work hard for every penny don't you think I deserve it all oh the law the law the law son there are flaws in the law but in the end it does answer to God boy I'm just doing my job my friend the astronomer she's a stargazer I swear they talked to her boy I wish I knew what they were saying why I was laying in her bed with her chest in my head. Well, our intentions misread, so I just said it. I said, baby, I'm a nobody. I ain't got no money. Just this ambition to tell the people we are equals. So come on, baby, come out of your cave. Oh, oh. Catch a swell, catch a wave to another inspiring place. We all, 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 coming out of our caves, coming out of our caves. Yes, we all, 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 coming out of our caves, coming out of our caves.
how do you see your music in the realm of social change? Well, first of all, I love Peter Yarrow. <laughs> I have been like so blessed and so honored to get to spend time with him, and I'm so glad you had to talk to him recently. Yeah, he's, he's, he's great yeah, yeah, and I grew up on his music, so like to be able to spend time with him this past year has been really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, um, I just find that in this generation, in this time, it's it's so important to have music that really activates people to do something with themselves, you know? Because we're all concerned about what's going on with our world, with world politics, with, uh, with our environment, with um, the things state like of... Ferguson. Things like, yeah. exactly, like with, uh, with all these, with oh, so much about with, like, with Ferguson, and just, just, that's just like a, a chapter in the big book of, 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 uh, of, our, of our generation right now, mm -hmm. and um, of the change that we're, we're going to see, we're already seeing, you know, take place. But, um, you know, I don't particularly think that, um, like you said, like I, I think that there's lots of there's actually lots of music right now that's um, speaking about uh, topics that may or may not be um, uh, topics that um, in the past we would have wanted to make mainstream music either. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But um, it does take the right kind of people, I think, to reach more than just a small group of people with that message, you know. And um, but I and I do feel like I've I've been meeting those kinds of people, and um, and I think that our music in particular is a bridge for uh, for um, a broad uh, culture that um, isn't just. Uh, um, isn't just like a it's not like a, just a festival group you know it's not like a there's so many it's been really wild to sort of like really see the the uh the range that uh, we're, be, we're able to reach right now and i think that it's because um it's time you know right right and uh i mean that was how it was with peter paul and mary right they were huge they were yeah. pop stars yeah and yet they were singing these monumental songs yeah. of social change at these monument monumental yeah. events like the march on washington yeah. well, and it, that you know we haven't seen quite as much in recent years, yeah. and you you feel like it's time. Yeah, well, I mean, we're in a state of complete chaos right now. We There's, are. you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I wake up, I still wake up in a, a day to day, and and I'm in a complete loss at how we've gotten to this to this place in our country right now, mm -hmm. and um, so in which case, like, I've had to sort of like narrow it down a bit because uh, for me, is what is for what I like will speak out about because um, there is so much that I. Am passionate about uh, as far as um, working towards positive change and finding solutions to things that um, we're struggling with, uh, you know. And so many, so many kids in, in this generation too, a don't care at all about mm -hmm. what's going on, or b think that um, have this sort of hippie mentality where it's like if we just sit around and like own together, it's going to change. And, and those are two huge different sides of the story right a, a, a culture of kids that don't care at all and just want to like dance to to like you know djs or whatever and a whole culture of kids that just doesn't that that thinks that we can just pray through it right. you know and i'm like okay yeah there's definitely truth to both those things there's truth to um the prayer form of like really like asking for direction but there's also like really uh there's a lot of like truth to direct action you know and um so you know, it's it's such an interesting um, experience to be in my position now, just to go up on those stages and, and talk to those to talk, talk to so many um, kids about um, what it is that that they can do. And I think that what I've really sort of tried to express to people is that really at the at the core of it, it's about uh, finding out what it is that you can do on your own as you change and as you grow and as you evolve to be a part of the bigger picture. You know, mm -hmm. and I mean that's what that's what it's always been about is be the change you want to see in the world right right and it's like it's, we can still come back to that because it's still true let's talk um, a little bit about your gear yeah oh yeah well it. actually before this gem I had a Martin and I was playing this Martin and I've had the Martin for so long and that's, it, a, it, that's a cola right the Martin. yeah I had a I had a, I had a, um, I had a Koa Top uh, Martin acoustic and uh, man I love those guitars and um, super beautiful Play the crap out of it. Fires in the rain. Dropped it in the river. You know, like everything you can imagine, because it was like my go-to, right? Right. And um, and so since since I've, I've had that for like almost eight years, and I've never had a sponsorship before, 
And just recently when I was in Australia this last month, uh, they give out like a guitar once a year and they gave me this one. So Cole Clark, uh, this is a Tasmanian Blackwood um, guitar and it's cherry. Cherry. Meaning it's cool. It's not cherry. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this uh, I was super grateful and uh, Cole Clark's one of the top guitar makers in Australia. Um, out of Melbourne and they're just amazing. I like the smaller body guitars because I'm a small guy. Uh -huh. I have small arms and uh, and I play the, I, I beat up my guitars like I play really hard. You were very percussive, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I never really had guitar lessons <laughs> so I just kind <laughs> of like I just slam them, you know, like you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not like a crazy guitar player either, like I play pretty simple guitar riffs mm -hmm. in my mind and uh, so you know, I just like a a guitar that's dirty and durable, you know, that can that can make it through the weather that I that I travel through. Right, <laughs> Cause right. Because I will go through all of the seasons <laughs> through right. these guitars. Yeah. Do you use a pick at all? Yeah, I use uh, uh, Dunlops. And what kind of strings do you? Use? I use um, mediums, mm -hmm. uh, Diodarios, mm -hmm. um, elixirs sometimes too, but um, most. Well, what do you run through when you're plugging in? What do you run through? What kind of amplification? Uh, well, actually, I'm just DIing right now. Oh, really? So I just run through the system. Yeah. Um, uh, one, I used to, I used to run through an acoustic um, uh, amp, but uh, I haven't in a long time. So I just, that's, I just travel simple. I just right. got my acoustic guitar and oh, plug into the DI, okay. plug it in. Yeah. Right. Not to say that in the future I would change things up, but that's just how I roll right now. a loud voice for a tiny creature well teach me to let go of all of my pain I do forgive I don't forget these things I do forgive I don't forget these things well we burn the blue gum for a safe passageway drink of the earth smoke of the dirt and my war paint was red ochre clay ochre hay my war paint was red ochre clay, ochre head. Red ochre clay, well, our prayers ignite and cast out into the shire. And the song of our struggle came straight from the fire. It goes, holy, holy, grandmother, we sing. Wash us clean of our pain and suffering. Give us strength for our new beginnings. In my deepest thanks, I'll sing. It'll wash away, it will wash away. Lift them up, it'll wash away, it will wash away. Lift them up, it'll wash away, it will wash away. Lift them up, it'll wash away. It will wash away, lift them up. 
Pipeline for our rivers and mountains, we scream. Today's a good day for my ego to die. Today's a good day for my ego to die. Spirit, live on in my heart, in my body, my mind. In my body, my mind. And Sister Crow came with a murder that day. So we tattooed the bird nation onto our faces. She said, we sing to let go of all of our pain. We dance the story to remember when things changed. Remember when things changed. Remember when things changed. Holy, holy grandmother, we sing. Wash us clean of our pain and suffering. Give us strength for our new beginnings. In my deepest thanks, I'll sing. It'll wash away, it will wash away. Lift him up, it'll wash away, it will wash away. Lift him up, it'll wash away, it will wash away. Lift him up, it'll wash away. We'll wash away, lift him up. Oh, 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 lift him up. Oh, 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 lift him up. Oh, 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 lift him up. We dance to ghost dance in two separate countries to this old song, so familiar to memory. The road will teach you how to love and let go. It can be lonely, but it's the only thing that we've ever known. It can be lonely, but it's the only thing that we've ever known. Our mamas told us, let go of jealousy. And for vagabonds and vagrants, that won't come so easy. We've come from nothing, nothing. We have come from nothing, nothing. So teach me to love you in a different way. Same cut, same guts, same crazy. Same cut, same guts, same crazy. I traveled halfway across the country and back, only to find love undefined. And I'm okay with that, cause I'm gonna be a guardian Be a man among men Be a guardian Be a man among men Or be a woman among women Be a guardian and be my friend Oh, oh, oh be my friend Oh, oh, we're a part of something special we're a part of something special. We're a part of something special. It's a crack in time, a wrinkle falling from the nest, young ego. I will pull my feathers out, stay humble, stay humble. 
Stay humble. Stay humble. Mm -hmm. Stay humble.